I'm on my Zevia tea kick today. FYI, it's the second day, day after yesterday. We uh, rec we did my hair and recorded that, and it was actually pretty late. My uh, my battery also abruptly died. Um, shortly after we finished, I basically just needed to touch up my ends because he only did like the root coverage. After we did this little minimal get ready with me, you guys will get to see the final product when it's all said and done. But we are gonna do a little get ready with me, a very minimal, minimal get ready with me. In fact, other than a couple of things, we are gonna do a complete face with two palettes, including eyes. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Sun Dipped. I got this last summer and I absolutely love it. I've used the crap out of it. And then I have the contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I like the medium to tan palette for a good sun-kissed glow. I don't have that right now and I really want it in my life. So we're gonna just go with it. I actually would probably use this when I'm a little darker. So we'll see how this goes. But these are the two palettes I'm gonna use for my face, including my eyes. Other than a little bit of a light coverage foundation and mascara brow stuff, this is it. This is it. These two guys, you're gonna see how I do it. This makes for an easy, quick get ready. It also makes for an easy, quick travel makeup routine for all of us who are dying to travel. Okay, to keep this interesting and for me to not just do my makeup, I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of the questions that people asked in our relationship Q&A on Instagram. Lots of these have nothing to do with relationships. People don't pay a damn bit of attention to directions. I also found that people don't read that much. They just mindlessly scroll and when they see a question box, they're like, oh, I got a question, even though it might be tailored to something. How would you recommend someone get into coaching? All right, guys, so my mirror is right there. So that's where I'm gonna be looking, FYI. Makeup for Forever Light Capturing Self-Setting Concealer. This is probably one of my favorite concealers of all time. Oh, frick! I didn't put primer on. Well, we're just gonna go in with some primer beforehand, or after the fact. This is my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This does come in a liquid now, but I have been a user of this primer and I've only gone through two of these in almost two years. It is legit by far one of the best primers I have ever used. And I feel like for the quality and quantity you get, the price point is pretty freaking stellar. Obviously I'm not putting primer anywhere where I've already put concealer, cause you know. <laughs> We did this wrong. I was so anxious. I get really anxious when I do um, uh, makeup things because I'm not a makeup guru and I don't have a good setup and I get really like self-conscious about that. But I try to do it every once in a while. So here we are. So primer is on now. We have concealer. So I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M536 brush. This is my concealer brush. I have no idea if that's what you're supposed to use this brush for, but that's what I'm using it for. Um, so how would you go about getting into coaching? So I'm not 100% certain if this question is about getting a coach or being a coach. Um, so we'll just go with answering both. If you want to get a coach, you should shop around. You should inquire with you know multiple coaches, see who one actually responds to you. Um, within a given time frame, you know, within within 48 to 36 hours of you applying, they you should get some sort of email from the individual. Um, I typically try to have those individuals not wait longer than 48 hours to hear from me. Um, obviously, this is in business hours. I try not to answer inquiries through the weekend just to allow myself uh, some downtime. Um, but 48 business hours, I think, is pretty fair. If it takes any longer than that, I would assume that they are probably not going to be as responsive as coaches unless they apologize in that email. <laughs> when you shop around, I would also be sure to ask those coaches, you know, what it is that they think is the best pathway for you, also. Ask for their timeline for you. Understand that every coach is going to have a different methodology and their approach to your particular goals, but you know, ask for their best insight and see if it kind of aligns with the pathway in which you want to take as well, but also be open to their pathways and open to their recommendations for you because they might see a bigger picture and they might see some underlying issues that you might not be as aware of as well and be sure that you are open and honest in your inquiries. Be as thorough as possible. Give them more information than they may even need so they can make their best assessment to even find out if they're a good coach for you. All right, next thing is 
foundation. I go with a super, super light coverage lately. I have not been into like heavy coverage foundation. So we are gonna go with a blend. I love blending. My IT Cosmetic CC Illuminating Cream with the Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. This is my ride or die. I've been using this for like three months maybe now. And it is super, super thin and watery. Like it's gonna go down my hand if I hold it there, but I love that about it. And I do like a little dab of this CC cream, which is a little bit thicker, super moisturizing, doesn't dry out my skin. I go in there with a Morphe M439 brush. Now this one, I do believe they said it was a foundation brush on the website. I'm pretty sure that's why I bought it because I needed a good foundation brush. And I just kind of dab it in. I Like I said, don't use a whole lot because this is like a quick, get ready with me, quick, I'm staying at home <laughs> routine. All right, there we go. Foundation is done. I'm slowly wondering why I haven't gotten darker foundation. <laughs> it looks really white. Moving on. <laughs> All right, to answer the second question, or the second half of that question, which was how would you tell somebody to go about getting into coaching? I would suggest first off, getting educated, getting certified, going to school, one of the two things. Definitely getting a mentor, a mentorship program of some sort, a train the trainer be possibly a client of a coach that you truly look up to and value. That's a great way to learn. Um, I would also suggest to seek in-person training just because I do think it's a highly, highly valuable tool in which you can get to see and implement and see and understand how the human body moves in real time if you plan on coaching somebody for strength training and strength training prog progression. Understanding how the body moves in a textbook such in a textbook scenario is totally different than in real time. Alrighty, contouring palette. We're gonna go in my cheekbones with this color and this color, a little bit darker, go in. I have no methodology here. I just go after it. I start from the top of the hairline, kind of trail down. That's pretty good, yeah. Top of the hairline, trail down. I don't carry it too much down into the lower part of my cheek, but I definitely do that like three technique. So it's here, down, and here. I forgot who taught me that, but I think it was when I was getting like my makeup done at Sephora. They taught me that three technique where you just keep going like that. And it eventually just kind of creates this, you know, three on your face. <laughs> Get my cheekbones, carry that down. Okay, we're getting not so translucent for my skin tone. Next, I'm gonna try to contour my nose. Absolutely suck at this. So I went with a little bit darker shade. Probably will regret that. I already regret that. So we're gonna go lighten it up a lot. <laughs> so we're gonna go with the same shade that I did my contour with. I should not have done the darker one. So we're gonna have to do that on the other side too. So we're gonna do a light dusting here. Hello. Hello. What's up? Please don't get ma'am's while she's doing her makeup. That would be, please don't do that. Please do not let the dogs come in here right now. I'm in the bathtub, FYI. <laughs> Cause there's good light right here, I've discovered. So I went in there with a darker color. That darker color is like right up in there. And she was a little dark. So we're gonna take that one that I did my crease in. They don't number these or anything, so I can't really tell you. But we're gonna go in and lighten her up. Lighten her up right there. Okay. Whew, all right. Next, Casey. My client asked, bucket list trip to take together. Before all this quarantine, um, we had really kind of planned for my competition season to be over by like August or around my birthday so we can go to Puerto Vallarta. That's totally been on our radar. Probably for a little over a year now, um, we're part of a vacation group that has a has an all-inclusive resort there with a golf course. And I know that I made a promise to him since I went to Cabo twice. <laughs> Twice now that we would go to a resort with an all-inclusive golf course. He absolutely loved golf, so that's definitely on our radar for sure. All right, next thing is under eye and lower jawline coloring. And we're gonna go in there with a lighter color. So the lighter one, just kind of smooth that out. This is just a Sephora flat brush, it's super flat. I don't know why I chose to use this, but I just kind of can like dabble on it, put a light Coverage there, go up my nose, go there, fill her in right there. This next up is going to be the highlight. So that's where this palette comes in. The Sun Dipped Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're gonna go in with Summer and we're gonna do Summer over my brow bone, down through my cheek. 
So brow bone down through my cheek. Get her, okay, down. Nose, Cupid's bow, <laughs> right above brows, okay. And to add to the bronzed effect, we're gonna go with bronzed, right over here. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower than I did with my contour powder, just a little bit lower into the cheekbone pocket with bronzed. So I'm gonna do this instead of doing any sort of blush. We get in there. Not quite finished with the face until I used my Fenty Beauty. I have a, what is this called? Honey powder. Oh my gosh, this stuff. I finally found a good like loose powder that actually matches my skin tone. It doesn't create this huge halo around me and I just like lightly dust it and it smells good and Fenty is affordable. I really have enjoyed the Fenty line of products that I've tried. I've tried their gloss, their contour stick, love it. Next question. Oh, we're getting deep. Do you like fitness influencers? I will be 100% honest that unless they're my friend in real life and they do fitness, I don't really dive into their content. Like I might follow them, but unless I know them personally or like I've interacted with them in, on, in an online space, like multiple, multiple times, like I don't really invest in their content. I also don't consume a lot of social media. I'll be very honest. I utilize a lot of social media to communicate with you guys, but like I don't dive down the rabbit hole of Instagram that much. Um, and I actually try to make sure that a lot of my feed is my friends and is my clients, which I love that. I love to see like how they're actually doing life and that's really cool and so it just helps me stay connected with them in a larger scale rather than just via emails and check-ins next is eyes we're going to start in with the tarte shape tape eye primer and i love this it's just a super super moist stick and i just go in and go around my eye and i've already put like a little bit of concealer over my eye so i really don't do that much i just want to kind of lighten it around the very bottom of my eyelid. And that is so this eyeshadow, which eyeshadow, AKA my medium to tan palette is going to come in handy. All right, so now there's like a kind of sparkly gold and that's what we're gonna do on the eyelid. Sparkly gold, sparkly gold, yes, sparkly gold. And then we're gonna do a little bit more on the brow bone. I have not touched my brows yet. All oh, my brows are getting out of hand. They're so long. Now with the darker, the darkest color, I'm gonna go in the outside corner of my eyeball and tap that darker color in. We gonna blend it in a minute. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm sitting in the bathtub and my knees are freaking killing me doing this. I'm doing a really great get ready with me, right? Super great. So now with a semi dark color, we're gonna go in and now blend up and carry that darker color and the semi lighter color up closer to the brow bone. Just kind of let it all fade and blend, fade and blend. Okay, okay. Back to Glow Kit. Back to Glow Kit, back in with Summer, the gold, the gold one, to go with my inner corner. Give me, give me light. Inner corner, inner corner. Carry her down, carry her down. All right, taking a smaller smudge brush, we're gonna take the bronzed, which is the darker bronzer, and we're gonna go underneath the eye and give it a good smudge of like this bronzy color. I love doing bronzy colors underneath my eye. That is my thing this year and I'm loving it. I do this and, and then just a light coat of mascara with my Fake Awake. So Fake Awake is this stick, I forget the brand, Tarte. Fake Awake, it's like a white stick that just kind of opens up your eye. My friend Emily got me hooked on this, but I feel like the story is that her mom got her hooked on it. Her mom has got some good makeup tips from what I, understand okay, fake awake, fake awake. just kind of opens up the eyeballs a little bit now we're going in with these brows Whew. this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen brow gel is ebony I'm gonna get close y'all my vision is so bad that I don't even want to know 
how close I got to get to this camera. But gosh, y'all, my brows are so fuzzy. They're so fuzzy and I feel like the shape and the tails are just like losing everything. I need to see my brow girl so bad. Summer, I need you in my life. Summer the Brow Slayer on Instagram is my girl and I love her name. I think it's perfect, it suits her so well. She shaped my brows for the past three years and I, I'm obsessed with how she's gotten them. But whew, this is a trial and error. It's taken me a lot to not go after them but I don't want to pluck them because she does such a good job shaping them that I don't want to take any of this extra hair that I've gotten. I've been able to grow in the quarantine. I don't want to take any of it out because I want them to be, you know, thick. But she normally does really good with getting my arch back. I have a hard time, like, keeping my arch intact. And I don't know why, but I feel like it always falls down. And then as my brows get unruly, I start to get one so much higher than the other. So we're starting to get that way. You can, this one is so much higher. And you know, brows are not twins, they are sisters. And in this quarantine, one has become evil. That's just, one is an evil sister. And she is wanting to take over my entire forehead, basically. Lashes and lips, lashes and lips. I'm going in with my, oh, my ride or die. My Sills Booster from Lancome. This is my ride or die mascara primer. But y'all, I am getting a new primer during the Sephora spring rouge sale say prayers i'm going with the mark jacobs primer that'll be the first time i've moved out of the sills primer in probably five years i've been utilizing this product for five years i don't put them on my bottom lashes unless i'm really trying to like just make myself go hard on my face all right i've been digging the bad gal benefit mascara and i like it because it's a small very small application wand so very mess free and it's not so thick to where I make a freaking just chunky, thick lashes. I can go really nice and thin with a good length and coat. So we have one layer of the mascara. I can really get close to the lash line with a very, very fine wand. And that's why I like a fine wand. So I can really drag my lashes out. All right, gotta get real close for the bottom lashes. Uncomfortably close. All right, and tips for all my long lash gals. Wait until any of that, any of that mascara that you get in your eyeshadow, wait until your eyeshadow dries and then I'm going to show you how to get it off. <laughs> so I'm letting that dry. All right, so go in with your brush that you did your eyeshadow with and just flake off that excess because it never fails. My eyelashes are so long that I always get mascara up there, especially when I'm doing a video. All right, so lips. It's just gonna be this Lila B lip oil, which is kind of like a gloss, kind of like a chapstick. I would say it's a cross between the two, but it's super, super thin. I got it from Sephora, recommended by Emily. And what color did I get? I got B Elegant, and it's super, super thin, but it feels so good on. And it's so light, so light. So there we have just a full face pretty much done with these two palettes. Makes it super easy to travel, super easy for a quick, quick, simple, easy makeup routine. And it's pretty glam. It's pretty flawless in terms of the contour ability that you have within two palettes alone. It's pretty incredible. Love that about this routine I've mastered. All right, so now we will take down my hair and you guys can see how well he did the root touch up. Like I have no gray hair at all visible. He did such a good job, such a good job. Love that for me, love that for him and his abilities. I really know I can fall back on my husband for hair care help. So we're just gonna kinda zhuzh, cause my hair's been up in a ponytail training. So we're just gonna zhuzh her, zhuzh her out. And there you have it, hair down. No gray hair, super flawless, black and shiny. And I know that I can count on my husband when I need him in a quarantine for some hair care. Um, I'm really happy he was able to help me because I probably wouldn't have been able to get as detailed and I probably would have messed up my blonde streak. I actually know I probably would have out of frustration trying to like get the root touch up kind of 
in the right spots on that side. I'm pretty happy with the turnout. So thank you guys so much for watching this little get ready or this full get ready with me really. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.